The challenge? Come up with an original birdhouse idea. The catch? Use only Lowe's materials. The results are all really cool. Wouldn't this little ball look great hanging around your house? This is the birdhouse ball, and this is the ball deconstructed. It's just pieces of wood veneer, and I promise, no weaving necessary. The prep for this project is all about cutting and staining your veneer strips. You're going to cut sets of strips consisting of seven different lengths. You'll need a total of five sets. So if you're doing the math, that's 35 pieces in all. Cut and stain your strips according to the directions you'll find on Lowe'sCreativeIdeas.com. These wood tone stains are water-based and really easy to use. Just brush them on and then give the strip a wipe with a lint-free rag. Once your pieces are stained and they're dried, you're going to want to separate them by length in seven different bags. So in the end, each bag will have five different colored strips that are all the exact same length. Starting with the shortest strips, make a circle and secure the ends. Wrap and glue your next strip over your first. Add a little dab of glue here to secure the two together. And just keep building. You want this first sphere to be pretty balanced and symmetrical, but as you keep building and adding the next layer, you're going to get a little more random so it looks more natural. After doing round three, you're going to want to leave a hole for the bird, so just use a placeholder like this is a center of tape to lodge in there and build your ball around. Then just keep wrapping and building until you use all of your strips. The final step, feed the rope through the top of the ball, through the opening, tie a knot, and then pull it back through. Ta-da! For more inspiration, go to Lowe'sCreativeIdeas.com.